Hello, I'm Mike Chambers and I'm your course creator. And I'm going to do a real quick little video here because I don't want to waste your time. So I'm going to tell you uh, what you're going to get out of this course. And I'm making the first several modules of this course free. Um, you'll be able to check out the content, look at it, see if you're want to go forward or not. I don't want to waste your time. If you don't think that this is for you, I want you to know right away and then you can leave. Now the very first part of this is what is a bankruptcy? And a bankruptcy is something that our founding fathers put into effect. Uh, fact that we could get in over our he heads and get in debt is very much something that um, people realize. And so they, when they talk about chapter seven or chapter 13 bankruptcies, essentially what that means is the seventh chapter of the bankruptcy proceedings that our court had laid out is for complete dismissal of debt. Uh, there are certain exceptions. Some debts aren't able to be dismissed, but that's what Chapter 7 means. Chapter 13 is basically uh, saying that if you had a bunch of stuff that you got in over your head and you had a lot of credit card debt and things like that, that you may be able to pay back over a time three to five years they stop uh, garnishments and things like that that are happening to you basically the court takes over and you make payments to the court they determine how much debt has to be paid back and to whom and as long as you make your payments on time and stuff then you can go forward with there. I am doing chapter seven myself, complete dismissal. And the reason why um, I think that's important is because that is what my personal experience is with. I tried using a document preparer and I had horrible luck. I tried to get lawyers to take my case and because my wages were garnished and I had a low income to begin with, I just never was able to get ahead. That's why I researched and did everything I could to finally come up with a way to file bankruptcy myself. Now, you can go out there and you can look on the Internet. You can find all kinds of stuff. out there. Most of it's crap. Uh, you'll look through. 12 to 16 minutes of somebody yammering on and on, and it has nothing to do with anything. Maybe you'll get one little piece of advice that's useful for you. Um, I, to be honest, I got to looking at things based on how long is the video before I'd even bother clicking on it. If it's some um, lawyer going on and on and on about a bunch of boring crap and at the end it's just a link to get me to go to him pay him 1400 to 1700 dollars and then all the extra fees on top of that it was just ridiculous so um, that's the reason i'm making this so you can quickly understand what it is that i will be teaching you and what i will be teaching you is how I failed, filed bankruptcy myself and the process that it takes to go through chapter seven is about 100 days. Chapter 13 is three to five years. And what you have to do before your bankruptcy, what you should do before your bankruptcy, and things not to do before your bankruptcy is 
the things that I will be explaining to you. Um, my first several modules of this course will all be free, and you can go through the ones that are unlocked, and it will teach you everything that you need to know to file bankruptcy yourself. I'll give you the links to go get the correct paperwork and all of that, and you won't have to pay me anything. And uh, if you want to work with me, uh, I have found the correct lawyer software that automatically fills in all the forms. I have found out you cannot get the forms off of the government site and try to fill them out. Um, they don't save your information. To be honest, the easiest way is to print it off, fill it out by hand, and print off another set and fill it out by hand, or use a manual typewriter if you have it, or electric typewriter. But if you do that, you're going to have to take two copies to the court, and one for the court to file. That's why you pay a filing fee to the court clerk. And it's the same in every state. And the other copy, you have to file it with the court and get it stamped that you actually did this and take it home for yourself. Because who knows, maybe the courthouse burns down, but you need to have that, need to have that advice. Um, so this is video one. This will be free. The next video. I'm going to just, I'm going to read the basics of bankruptcy that I got from my document preparer. I paid $300 to her to prepare my documents for me. I gave up control of everything. Ultimately, she just took my money and uh, it took three months to get my own papers back. And some of the stuff that I gave to her, I didn't even have access that I could get it back again. It was absolutely horrible experience. I would suggest that you do better research. I, she had good recommendations, I guess, but I'm, I was not satisfied, and I don't, I don't suggest you give up your control of your own paperwork and your own individual stuff and uh so that's video number one have a good day